Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and another week of what's for dinners. As I promised in my gro Walmart grocery haul and shop with me, I'm going to sh be sharing some low carb dinners with you this week. So tonight I made my meatloaf, which I have a video um, of how I make this, so I didn't show you tonight how I made it, but I will link that video down below. It is the best meatloaf I have ever had. It's my mom's recipe. And then I made these veggie tots, which I showed in my uh, what's for dinner, I mean, in my grocery haul. They are so delicious. They're broccoli and cheese, and they sell them at Walmart, probably other stores too. This is what the bag looks like. They're these green giant veggie tots, and you can cook them in the air fryer. I've never done that, but I'm sure they would be delicious in that. But this is a huge bag I got at Walmart. It was like almost $8, but it is so worth it. There's so many in here. So there it is, the meatloaf and veggie tots, and that is what's for dinner tonight. Okay, so today I'm going to be making some pepper jack chicken in the crock pot. It's super simple and it's very low carb, and I made this once before and it was so delicious. So I'm definitely going to make it again, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I just took some took some chicken breasts these are the ones that I prefer they're just really delicious really good quality you need pepper jack cheese but I'm only going to use about half of this and then a green pepper and about half of an onion but you could put as much as you wanted so you might remember I don't like to touch raw meat so I just use baggies anytime that I would need to touch it and they work fine to keep my hands clean Okay, so now I'm just going to take my crock pot and I'm, I'm going to put one of these um, Reynolds Kitchen slow cooker liners. I keep this box in here or else I will forget to use them because I, for years I didn't use them, but I really love them. They make cleanup so much easier. So now I'm just going to drop the chicken in the bottom of the crock pot. Now I'm just going to cut the onion and peppers up. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, flavor the chicken a little bit, but I do have to watch my salt intake. So I love this Mrs. Dash, and this is the garlic and herb. And then I'm going to put some cumin on because that just gives it a little bit of a Mexican flavor. Okay, so I'm going to put this on high for about four hours, or you could do low for six to eight hours, depending on how much chicken you have in there. Okay, so it's now um, been about four hours that this has been cooking, and the chicken is fully cooked. So I'm just going to see how tender it is when it's been in the crock pot. I'm just going to like shred it up. I don't even hardly have to do anything to it to shred it up. And you could leave these um, as whole breasts, but I actually like to put these in tortilla shells if uh, for Marion I'm not going to have a tortilla shell uh, just because I'm trying to wash my carbs but um, shred it up like this it makes it easier for tacos and it's so easy and then I'm going to go ahead and put I shredded up about half that block of cheese this is pepper jack cheese or you could just use Monterey Jack but I like the spicy pepper jack this is a lot of cheese I don't know that I'm going to use all of this but you just sprinkle this on top of your chicken and then I'm just going to put this on a low setting or yeah keep warm setting actually just to, to let the actually we'll use all the cheese <laughs> that is the best part if you ask me so I'm going to cover this again and I'm going to put it on the keep warm setting probably for 15 minutes or so until that is totally melted okay so it's been about a half hour and the cheese oh it's all fogged up 
The cheese is all melted and gooey and delicious. So there's Marion's tacos and there's my bowl. My whole house smells so good. You got to try this if you're um, doing low carb. It's so good and that cheese is what makes it amazing. If you want to add salt and pepper you can too. Like I said I didn't add any. So that is dinner tonight. Okay, tonight for dinner I'm going to attempt to make blackened chicken. I've never made it before, but I found a recipe on Pinterest. And um, my Pinterest is just Erica Dorset, so uh, make sure to go check out my Pinterest. This would be pinned on my recipe board. But I made this rub for the blackened chicken, and it's just pepper and salt, some thyme, oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. So if this turns out, I will try to type it all out for you or link it down below. Um, I didn't realize how you made it. I thought it was charred chicken, but it's actually blackened because of all the spices you put on it. So I just put these all in a bowl and then I'm going to take some chicken breasts and rub this on the chicken and then fry them in a pan. So after this is finished, I'm going to put them over a salad. I had this last weekend at a restaurant and I am trying to recreate it because it was amazing. So hopefully it turns out. Okay, so I took my chicken breasts. This is two chicken breasts and I tried to like slice them in half to make them thinner. Okay, so I just melted four tablespoons of butter and then I'm gonna uh, fry my chicken five minutes on each side. Okay, so there is my salad. This chicken is amazing, by the way. It's so good. So I made these salads. Um, this is Elena's and I'm gonna also put apples on hers but she's not home yet but she's gonna eat when she gets home it's just uh, romaine lettuce carrots walnuts cranberries and apples with the chicken Marion doesn't like cranberries and he is actually outside working so when he comes in I will put the apples on his and the chicken but here is mine ready to eat it looks amazing and I'm gonna use some of this Kraft honey mustard dressing so that is our dinner tonight healthy and delicious Okay, so for t dinner tonight, I was going to be making some supreme, chick uh, supreme pizza chicken breasts, but I accidentally defrosted chicken cutlets instead of chicken breasts, but it's totally fine. I was going to butterfly them anyways, so that's what I'm going to actually be using, but you could, I guess, use either one. So I've never made this before. This is a Pinterest recipe, but it looks delicious, and it's a low-carb alternative to pizza. So I preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I just put these chicken uh, cutlets in the dish and then I'm just going to top them with, I'm going to put some uh, Italian seasoning and garlic a little bit on the chicken before I put anything on it. Then I'm going to put some of this pizza sauce which you could also use tomato paste. Um, it would be a little less, I guess, watery which I might use next time but I just bought this. And then I'm just going to top it with, oh, I forgot to put my pepperoni out here. I'm going to also put pepperoni on this. And green peppers, black olives, onions, and then this is the mozzarella cheese we always like to buy, the Sargento uh, shredded mozzarella. So I'm just going to layer all that on top. Then I'm going to put some more Italian seasoning on top. And then bake it in the oven for three, uh, 30 minutes at 400. Okay, so there it is. I don't like black olives, so I'm going to put them on half, 
but it is gonna go in the oven now for at 400 for 30 minutes. Okay, there it is right out of the oven and oh my word, it smells good, just like Supreme Pizza. And the juice, it's pretty um, juicy right now, so I'm gonna let the juices thicken up, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little while. Okay, there it is plated and I did take a bite just so I could let you know. It is amazing. It tastes just like Supreme Pizza, um, just without the crust. So another great low-carb what's for dinner. I hope you guys try this. You will love it if you like pizza, and you can obviously put whatever toppings you want on it. You could also put like sausage or ground beef, which is my favorite pizza topping, or you could eliminate, you know, anything I put on it too. But yeah, that is dinner tonight, and I'm excited. Okay, you guys, so for dinner tonight, I, am, I made my beef tips with the uh, brown gravy Italian seasoning packet and the buttermilk ranch. And I forgot to film that this morning because it was like 6.30 in the morning or 6 a.m. So I didn't actually film, uh, so I didn't actually film that. But th it has cooked all day in the crock pot. Um, I also mixed about a half cup water and these are just like beef stew um, pieces and they are so tender and delicious when they're cooked in the crock pot. And then I just boiled some carrots and sliced them and boiled them and then just I'm just mixing this together. I was actually going to make a carrot casserole tonight but I'm not feeling very good and I just thought this would be a lot quicker and easier and uh, we'll still get the you know nutrition from the carrots. So kind of like a pot roast without the potatoes. And then I also just made a few more of these broccoli tots if anybody wants those to, um, you know, make it go further. And then I also uh, cut up some of these, which we've already dug into a lot. But we went strawberry picking today. And, uh, yeah, so I took a lot of them and cut them up. And they are amazing. So that is dinner tonight.